Yeah, yeah. Yeah, second chance of redemption. And, well, having to go to through Japan on his first round, kind of hard on him, but, you know. It is Duck on Game & Watch. Yeah, much to see. Also, Rydal needs to watch out for Tutu. Um, as it does, kill like around 90%. A little bit less for Duck Hunt, I believe. Also, Game & Watch has a pretty good dash attack for covering ledge. That was very nice coverage. <laughs> Get away from the can. Oh no! Very barely at the very tip of his up B too. You know, uh, the, the thing about um, the, um, Game & Watch back there, I didn't even notice the turtle. it was a turtle biting. I thought he just like pulled out a turtle shell and then just hit people with it multiple times, but no, it's actually a turtle biting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just like found that out at SCR yet, uh, two days ago. Yep, and um, seems like the can needs to be hit off stage. Very good stuff from Zongun getting out of play. Not gonna be able to get too too tries to get a yuppie and barely misses it. Righto. Especially, like, yeah, coverage into run up up smash. That was very smart from Righto there. Yeah, forward smash you can pop out of. I believe you DI upwards in a way and you pop out of the last two hits. And then down smash, I think you could treat it like cloud. DI up, you can fall out. The DI down, you can attack on the floor. But I, I have fallen out of down smash from DI up quite often. What the heck? Oh, wait, he's at 152. And we, uh, Songin has to especially watch out for uh, when he's trying to approach Raido, as Raido's projectiles can set up into a kill situation. He does have like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has to be very careful on that. Raido, one of the best duck hunts to be able to get the grab into can combos here. She has a lot of pressure game that she can throw out against Duck Hunt here. 
Uh, but Rhino's being a little bit slippery against Songun, actually. Since uh, Duck Hunt's up B is very slow and uh, is very vulnerable because it does not have a hitbox on it. Also, um, Songen needs to, in my opinion, at least try, as you said, to needle the can more and jump whenever there's a gunman out. But because he's been getting quite a bit of percent from gunman. Was very unfortunate. He did get the drag down up air, but he wasn't able to get the down smash afterwards as Rido did, fortunately for him, fall by the ledge. Very nice back air out of shield. Tries to catch him with a forward smash. Streak is light and could have possibly died to that rage forward smash. Seems like he wanted to DI away from the fair, but instead still got hit by a got caught off guard. That's a really funny property of Can too. It it uh affects the camera as well. So it's a, it's a little disorienting, especially when it's on the screen and it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. Because you're, you're used to like the close-up shot when you're rolling against each other. But the can's on the other side pulling it out, so you, you might misplace something. Very nice Nair, trying to cover options there. Barely missing him on the ledge there with another Nair. Yeah, and uh, he needs to calm down on jumping a little bit. Raido has been starting to cover jump as well. As as Song tries to jump in on him, he's been throwing out can and he's been throwing out up air behind the can just in case Song tries to throw out an aerial to beat him out. 